Hello everyone. In the last video, we demonstrated ABC analysis using a fictitious example of 10 products at our fictitious cookie mart. Uh, we are able to group the items based on the annual revenues they generate, and we designate certain items as A items, certain ones as B items, and others as C items. Uh, we also introduced the power law distribution, and we also know how prevalent that distribution in many applications and how it applies to ABC analysis for product inventories. Um, in this video, we're going to perform an ABC analysis on another example. So th this video should help you, um, again, see another example and reinforce the concept. Um, I hope this is helpful so that you know you can perform your perform ABC analysis for your own application. Here we have a set of 20 SKUs or products. Uh, this example comes from a local consulting project that I did. Um, obviously, in the real project, the retailer had hundreds of SKUs, um, so this is just a small sample. Um, I've somewhat changed the SKUs around so that so that it's somewhat anonymous, anonymized, um, but it still demonstrates the constant ABC analysis. So when we have this uh, set of SKUs, and if you want to perform ABC analysis, you got to kind of think about what the objective is. Um, so the objective is to identify the SKUs that management should prioritize time and resources. So if you kind of think about for any, if you walk to any retailer, there are hundreds and thousands of products. It's simply not uh, reasonable or it's not smart for any management to keep track of every little um, SKU or they should not spend all their time and effort trying to keep track of every little thing. Um, they really need to prioritize on certain items, and ABC analysis gives us a very good method to do so. Um, should the prioritization then of the SKUs should be should be based on revenue, profit, or volume? Um, this will depend on the application and the organization. In certain situations, it might be we want to actually prioritize based on revenue, or it might be based on the profit margin, it might be the volume, or some combination. Um, uh, basically, after you go through your MC analysis, you should be able to create some logical groupings so that management can look at it and say, okay, so these are the, all of the SKUs in my A group, A items. These are my A items. And I need to prioritize on these. Or, you know, these are my B items. I need, I can use some uh, useful techniques to manage these items. Um, you can adjust these groupings as you go. Um, and again, some of these groupings, a lot of these groupings, the criteria are arbitrary. The cutoff points are arbitrary as well. Now, let's actually go through all the steps in our ABC analysis. Uh, so from the previous slide, I already had all of the annual revenue uh, value. So this entire column, I'm going to call this Z. Um, so we get Z. Um, it's simply X times Y, where X is my sales price and why is my annual demand. So that's how I got my annual revenue column. And I've already sorted. So remember, we have to sort in decreasing value. Okay. So once we sorted, sorted it, we were now ready to calculate the cumulative revenue column. And if you remember from the previous video, uh, you can kind of think of this as a running total. So for the first SKU, the cumulative value is the same as the annual revenue value. So it, it will simply be the same value. I'm not going to write it because of the limited space. Um, so I'm going to call this, I'll call this A, okay, okay, so, and then for B, B is simply going to be um, A plus the annual value, so I'll call this Z2, okay, so these are, you can think of this as the first or second row. So let's go to the next row, C is simply B plus C3, okay, and so on. Okay, so um, you kind of continue this process to fill out this entire column. The annual revenue, so I'll call this value P. So I'll just do that in blue, P. Okay, that's simply going to be the um, cumulative revenue divided by the total revenue. So let me rewrite that. Okay, let me do another example. So let's call this one W, the third one. W is going to be C divided by the total. This is the table that shows all the values calculated. So I've completed my cumulative revenue column. 
my annual revenue percent revenue revenue column. So we're actually not ready to start um, classifying my A items to my B items and my C items. Um, so let's say my cutoff, I'm going to set the threshold from A to B items at 71%. So if that's the case, then my A items is up to 71% of annual revenue. So it's composed of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the first seven SKUs. Seven out of 20 is 35%. Uh, so 35% of my SKUs represent 75% of the annual revenues. Okay. Um, and let's say the next threshold, my B items, is going to be the next 24%, or the cutoff, the threshold from B to C is going to be 71 plus 24, 95%. Um, and again, there's seven SKUs that fall in this category. So 35% of the SKUs, again, 7 out of 20, are going to be part of my B items. Then the rest are going to be my C items, uh, which only make up 5% of my total revenues. Um, and, but there are six SKUs in here, in, in here so there's, that's 30% of all the uh, SKUs. Okay, so the, the first seven um, are going to be my A items. So these seven here are my A items now. Okay. The next seven are my B items. And my, the last six are going to be my C items. The plotter results uh, with the y-axis being the percent of annual revenue and the x-axis being the percent of SKUs. Uh, this will be the result. Um, and you can clearly see how our A items uh, impact the total revenues as well as our B items and my C items. So the first threshold was at 71%, um, and just 7 out of the 20 SKUs made up roughly 71% of our total annual revenues. So these represent my A items. And you can kind of tell by from this vertical rise here that these items disproportionately make up the total annual revenue. So these are very, very important. And management should be looking at these items more carefully. Um, the next set from 71 to 95%, those make up my B items. So you can see the difference in height here. Um, so these are also important, but not as important to AI in terms of the revenues. Um, there's a lot of automated control that you can use. Uh, you can look at the other videos on this website to look at those, some of those techniques. Uh, but these are the items that you know the management should not um, dedicate their time and resources to watch carefully. Um, and we're now left with the C items. They merely make up just 5%, so just a little small portion of your annual revenues. And in this example, there are only six SKUs. Um, so this, this, this is a very common result um, for any you know, s retailer. Uh, if you were to do an ABC analysis based on revenue, profits, or sales volume, this will be a very similar result, again, following that power law distribution. Let's now finalize our analysis. Um, I've taken the corresponding SKUs for each of the groups and placed them into each bucket or each group. Um, you know, there are seven SKUs for both A items and B items, and there are the remaining six SKUs for C items. So you know, this is the um, final result. And you know, this analysis is a very simple way uh, for you to group things so that you, know, you kind of know now um, if you're the one running this organization or if you're running the store, uh, you should be dedicating more of your time and resources on all of the SKUs within these A items buckets. Okay? Um, so most of your manager attention should be for these items because they make up the disproportionate amount of your annual revenues. Um, the B items are also very, very important. Um, you can benefit uh, by using a lot of the automated control that you can um, learn on this website as well. And then you have the few, the many trivial items, the C items. Uh, and this is in this example, I've limited to just 20 SKUs. Um, but in reality, you know, you'll have many, many more SKUs in this last category. Um, individually, they make up just a very small fraction of your annual revenues or your whatever your value that you're you're looking at, your revenues, your profit, or you know your sales volume. So these are the ones that the that there should be least amount of manager review and attention. So we're done with this example. Um, hopefully this was useful. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, thank you guys.